what up, what up, what up, what's going on? We're on the road, we're gonna make a little video on the road. Talk a little bit about the auction that we went to the other day. Let's get right to some points, I guess. So we went to the auction, we spent a uh, thousand, and then the taxes and the buyer premium, that brought us up to about 11. And we went there to buy tools. So this is what happened with the tools, okay? Normally this auction goes, there's an outside lot. They go around the whole building. That's all the lots that all random flea market dealers and random people drop off these lots to uh, sell them outside. And all good lots go inside. If you get like a really good lot and you wanna make a lot, you can sell it in the auction, inside the auction house all the premiums are the same. So the premiums only go in tiers of, I think it's 25, 50, and 100. So if your box lot only sells at 25, I think you get only 50% of the sale. And then if it goes to 50, you get 25%. And if it goes to like 100, you only have to pay 15%. So, the better the lot, the more money you're gonna make and the less the house makes, which they want that anyway. They want the stuff to rotate, they want it to move. So we went there to buy tools. It was uh, ton, tons of tables of tools, tons of tools. Uh, some pretty good tools. I, I, I did this video already and I ragged on the tools, but they weren't that bad. It's a lot of hand tools, which that's hard to move at the flea market. They go, hand tools go, but at our flea market, they, they're such, they're so cheap at our flea market. They, they want to pay a dollar for everything. So hand tools are basically a dollar each. A pair of pliers, a hammer, yada, 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 stuff like that, a buck or two. They don't want to pay five. If you go to Seekonk, which is 45 minutes away, they pay five for a wrench and a crescent wrench or a hammer or a decent a decent okay tool that costs twenty five dollars or twenty dollars in the store they'll pay five dollars for it there my flea market no 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 so all the guys that are there there's there's seekonk guys and there's grafting guys so i'm a grafting guy and all the other guys that infiltrate all of our sales are Seacon, Seacon guys, <laughs> which is fine. You gotta share a little bit of it. I can't sell it all, so. And they started to auction off the tools. So right off the cuff, they said, we want the tools to stay in house. So when you buy your lot, put it on the table behind you. There's a bunch of tables set up. So as everyone's buying lots, they're putting it behind, um, they're just sh shuffling everything, pretty much. I think we bid on like three or four uh, lots. And there was one nice little piece of furniture that I actually wanted. It was like a nice drawer thing that I was gonna use in the store. I mean, I was paying 50 bucks for this thing and I'm gonna use it, but I'm more one that will pay like $2 for something like that but I paid 50 for it, I was paying up. A couple of other box lots of tools, clamps, yada, yada, yada. BS stuff, basically. Um, and I kind of wanted the lots that I got. I mean, I, I kind of paid a lot for them, but I was kind of like, uh, I, I like going through tools, it's nice. So what happened was, is they get through all, almost all the tools. They get about 30% of the tools auctioned off, all right? There's some going for 100, tool on like a, a pile for 100, like piles like this, that's a pile, like a box. 100 here, 50 there, 100 here. Uh, big tool chests for like 500, 600, some of them are full of stuff some other tool chests for 200 so we're adding it all up and we're trying to figure it out i mean i'm not like adding it up on a piece of paper but i'm adding it up in my head to like okay yeah you know this stuff's 
it's not firing off, I can tell you that much, because it was a holiday, so the place was totally jammed with uh, people. So to get a, a cheap lot was like, not impossible. I did get a couple cheap lots, but it's, it's kind of harder because now you got everybody bidding on everything. And there was so many photos of the tools, so everyone's jacked up on these tools. They want these tools. I don't know why everyone gets all jacked up on tools, but they do around here. And everyone was jacked up on this stuff. So they, they're firing off the prices and stuff. Basically, what boils down to it is they get a 30, they get 70% done through the auction of all the tools, and then the auction house is like, "All right, we're gonna do the whole, all the tools in one lot." I'm thinking he's doing all the tools like in front of me in one lot. That's what I thought he meant, and he's like, uh, 10 grand." Anybody got 10 grand? He was looking around. Freaking silence. He could drop a needle. <laughs> he could hear a needle drop. Nobody says anything. Everyone's too scared to say anything because they don't know whether or not he's joking or he's serious. So you don't want to go, I'm to 10 too. You know? Is he serious? So. Everyone kind of like walks away from all the tools and I'm like, what the hell just happened? I look at my buddy, what the hell just happened? Like, yeah, they just sold all the tools in one lot. I'm like, that was a waste of time. Like, why would they do that? Why would you auction off 70% of the tools and then go, all right, never mind. We're just gonna auction all this off in one huge lot. I don't know, apparently there was somebody there sitting there with a piece of paper and a notepad and adding up everything. And it probably got to about, it probably got to about six, six to seven to eight grand total. And they were probably like, I'll just pay 10 for everything and I'll just take it all. And uh, that's a power move, you know, power move. So, it's a good way to be on a power move, but Honestly, there wasn't 10 grand worth of stuff there. There wasn't one tool there that was worth like a thousand dollars where you could at least get like a thousand back. It was only like a couple, you know, two or three hundred dollar tool, like one tool for 300 bucks that was there that you're gonna get 300 back. And this guy's paying 10 grand with a buyer premium of 15 to 16 to 17 percent. So he's paying. 11.5, 11.7 for all these tools. I was kind of astounded that that, that happened. Um, power to the auction house for, you know, making that decision to do that. That's a, that's a, that's a hairy decision to make, especially when you're in that situation. <laughs> My buddy does estate sales. The guy that I buy stuff off of, and he will do that, but he'll do it a little bit more classy, and he'll do it like at the beginning. He won't do that like. I mean, he'll do it like maybe like halfway through the sale, like hours later, and this is be a estate sale, but this is an auction house, so it's totally different. So I was just kind of odd that they actually let let the guy do that, you know. So, yeah, all the tools went out at 11.5. Nobody got tools. Only one guy bought all the tools. And uh, it was just an odd, odd experience through the uh, auction that they, that they give it and they take it all away. Uh, it was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. Because the guy that paid 10 ain't getting 10 back. I mean, he'll get... He'll, may, he'll maybe get his 10 back, but he won't make like 10 grand. I mean, if you spend 10 grand, you want to make 10 grand. I, if you spend 10 grand, 
you want to make 50 grand. That, that would be more of an ideal. You don't push out 10 grand to make $5,000. That's a foolish move. I think a guy was just trying to be a hot ass and try and play power moves like, oh, I'm a big shot here. I got 10 grand and I'm going to buy all this junk for 10 grand. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, that, that just leaves you to be a force to be reckoned with later. And if you show up to the auction, people are all timid and stuff like that. You're giving yourself a little more stature in your, in your um, buying power and your uh, buying bragging and stuff like that. So I can see why someone would do that, but all honesty, he's not going to make his money back like quickly or anything like that. It was a bad, it was a bad buy, basically. It was a bad buy. I saw all the tools, saw all the lots, and I mean, there might have been a couple things that I didn't see, but there's no way that those couple things I didn't see are going to equal the 10 grand. Um, it's just kind of weird. It's kind of weird. So that's what happened, and we didn't stay focused on the tools. We stayed a little focused on, like, toys and knickknacks and BS stuff that's going to sell at the flea market. And so I was kind of fortunate that I didn't stay too focused on tools or like, oh, I'm going to reserve my money for the tools. So, yeah, that's what happened at the auction. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, yeah, so let's do some cut clubs and go through some of these sales. Well, <laughs> Let's do some cut clips and go through some of the uh, stuff I got out of the auction. And maybe I'll toss in some solds through the middle and I don't know. Let's just see where the video goes, all right? Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. And uh, let's get to some other uh, clips. All right, let's get into some of this stuff. We got a random little basket here. I gotta try and figure out what was what, but I got this out of the in-house of the auction. This is a, it's a Kodak K100 turret camera. I bought this because it had all the lenses and most of them don't. So pretty interesting camera, much cooler with all the lenses. It's got this nice pouch for it. Uh, paid 75 for that and I don't know if it works but it's at least worth 100 so that's my money back um, on the item itself so essentially that's not really the greatest purchase but I know I can get 100 for it so with that being said we'll just shoot for 2 I've seen it sell for 2 but that was tested and I don't know how to test that so will be like 200 shelf display call it a day but who knows how long that'll take so that was out of the auction house all right what was that one minute on that item really even show it to you but it's a tote full of matches i don't know if they're match ends they look like they're all match ends no actual matches in there but there's a, a serious box full of them at least more than half a tote there's some in this box here and then I have this box here with some cards random car uh, kiss cards okay and then a whole nother box full of match ends I don't know what I'm doing with these um, toss them in the auction I'll grind them out so I paid 35 for pretty much a pile. No, I paid, I paid, I gotta get the numbers. Let me get the cheat sheet. That way I don't say anything wrong. All right, here's my checkout right here. So 898, that's the most I've ever spent in an auction. Plus another $134 for, um, uh, for the uh, the house and then $65 just about in Texas so so we get a nude lot 
all lot remaining items that'll match in paper two times 35 so i paid 70 dollars for these so um yeah i don't remember paying that much but apparently i did thought i was at 25 um feel like that would be a better of a deal probably people were probably thinking i was nuts but um there's some cool advertising on there. I kind of looked at it, and, and advertising does well, so I, I bought them. Um, this shop vac, I need that, actually, and every time I have one, I sell one, so I have that in here. It's a nice uh, craftsman shop vac. We have a set of nudes. That's right here. It's in a black binder. Um... All lot remaining items. I'd have to pull all that out. We have a paddle lot. So we paid 15 bucks for this paddle board with a fin and an uh, oar. That's kind of cool. We'll take that on the lake. Um, so yeah, the nude lot, we paid 25 So that's right here. Uh, I didn't even look at it. I just bid on it. Um, furs, a dollar. So I put some furs for a dollar. Bought a cradle for a dollar. That's right here. Another cradle. I think I bought one two or three weeks ago for a dollar. This one's a little more current, but a lot cleaner. And it has a uh, it has Raggedy Ann on there, so that's kind of cool. Kind of wash that up, get it nice. That might be looking nice for about a twenty dollar bill there. Um. got binoculars I bought those in-house so those are right here this binocular lot and it's two cameras and a set of binoculars so I just looked these binoculars up they do 35 um, they're kind of uh, better all right so they're kind of a better brand they're seven by fifties and a thousand yards so that's pretty far I didn't look inside them though so uh, they could have a little condition I didn't look at them it is what it is so if anything that's 10 bucks at the flea market I got this camera which is a nice shelf display that's easily 10 bucks at the flea market let me get this five dollar camera here so this is kind of not a loss at all it's just kind of got to grind it out but um, I thought this actually was a set of binoculars in here. I didn't even look. But it's a Bell & Howell Zoomomatic, which is still probably nice on the shelf. It's got this nice, cool case there. It's kind of cool. Put that up there. All right, let's get back to the list. All right, now we're going to, we're going to go to this Dust Runner right there. Dust Runner toy. Uh, that was... That was a hundred. Yeah, so I showed you the camera. That was seventy-five, and then right above the camera for seventy-five is the dust runner toy. That's this. It's uh, supposedly brand new, so we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, that does. I've seen the highest to do is two hundred. So. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I have a another RC that just won't sell, and I'm asking a pretty good price for it. So, um, ninja figures. That's some turtles. So I got some turtles. Uh, we got the Power Ranger group. So we got this for a hundred. The Zord. This is a, uh, a Zord basically. It's number two two four two. It's this thing the shuttle zord all right so the most i've seen this do is uh 250 brand new never used so i don't know what that's in there then the more of this being used is about 140 so mm, mm, that's a gray area you know this this stuff can happen when you go to the auction um and then I have these three other toys that are sealed that might do 
10, 20, or 30, who knows. And then I have these box full of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We did 80 on those. Um, and this box is some flatwares. These are German uh, flatwares. I paid a lot for these, 175. Server Buffet flatwares, 175. Okay, this a uh, hundred piece. I think it's a hundred piece or a hundred and thirty-five piece, all clean, like nice, nice. Um, I need flatware when the kitchen's done. So if that, I'm keeping them for a hundred and seventy-five. It is what it is. Um, they're probably worth it. There was other people bidding on them, so I wouldn't think they're not good. Um, there's a box under that that's pretty good. Oh yeah, the uh, the monkey and the teapot. So I bought a teapot for $80. <laughs> $80 teapot and a toy monkey. So if anything, <laughs> my uh, my um, shot for the beginning of this video will probably definitely be this teapot. It's pretty sweet. Um, I normally would not spend $80 on a teapot, but it's pretty cool. I'll dig it out for you. And then everything else is watch repair kit. That's $10. That's inside. Um, I'll show you that. And I probably got this chair right here for a dollar. It's in what it was within one of the, uh, the box lots. And I could have sold it for 10 there. I just, I didn't want the lady to bother me. I'm like, go away. Uh, this was probably in one of the box lots. Um, just some stuff to grind. I have no clue what's in any of that. So getting a little moisture. Here's the one dollar fur. Um, there's about three or four paintings in here. Pictures, paintings. There's some wood. I'll, I'll pull all this stuff out though. So, all right, here's the thing again. And, uh, 40. What was 40? All remaining items, 40. Uh, all remaining items, 35. And da, 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 da. that was the only two big lots that I bought. Oh, we got a box lot for five bucks or a dollar. Five bucks. And, yeah, all right, let's go to it. Uh, another Inko video. Here's the $80 teapot. Uh, it's got some tape on it. They taped it shut. But it's pretty cool. I don't know how many, uh, I don't know how many ounces of fluid it will hold, but. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, I'll keep this. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, eighty dollars. It is signed Sadler. I have seen this do about eighty to a hundred. Um, but that one was like a green one. So I don't know if this is like a more rare color. Um, does have some condition, but pretty cool. There's a little spout there. Sadler. It's got some wear on the wheels. Or just that's just probably how they glazed it. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so whoever sold this sold the monkey too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me see what else we got. All right, here we go. There's a couple more items out of this out of these lots. Here's the monkey. 
kind of cool. Not the greatest lighting for the monkey, but there we go. So he's kind of drinking. Kind of gives it a little tipsy doodle. It's a uh, battery powered. So we're here running some tests. Hopefully this works. Yeah, most likely it does not, but pretty cool little toy for the shelf. A lot of people collect this kind of stuff for the shelf. Um, he doesn't drive around, but he probably just sits there and boozes it up. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, running some tests on this dust runner. It is not new, but it is. It's pretty darn clean. It doesn't look like it hit the, like driven on the pavement or anything like that. Um, we got the piece of foam for it here. missing a manual that's it so yeah I have to go get some batteries I'll test that in a minute so and then we get the uh the 80 dollar teapot where I'm gonna probably cut this clip out and do a different one so and there's some stuff I'm gonna pull out I'm gonna pull out some stuff so this is one of the box lots that we got. Um, pretty cool. It's a bunch of bunch of pins, bunch of pins, a bunch of pins, stuff like that. Different different chunks. Tons of bells. Six bells. You get a whistle. And some patches. Patches. Got this little smoking case here. Yeah, it's all grinding out. Dollar. Dollars. Bunch of dollars, you know? Alright, so that's that. And then I'm gonna cut clips through mostly everything else. But I've got these couple nice pieces that I pulled out of the uh this glass lot, and pretty much everything that's in this lot is gonna be like a couple bucks at the flea market. These are only a couple items that I kind of liked. This might be like three bucks. It's glass. Some Tom Collins, uh, Martini, yada yada. Nobody ever knows how to make any of this stuff. So that's nice out of on the glass there. This little tray of something. Uh, it's made in Japan. So it's kind of nice. Refrigerator wear right here. The cut glass, that's kind of nice. So, any of those, this might be more than five bucks. Or, I might build a list of those too, who knows? Um, yeah, and again, this stuff's just grind, grind, grind. You need a little uh, tuna here. Cheap little uh, guitar tuna. Alright. Yeah, cut through some clips. We got this camera. This is a. Panasonic AF-X8. Who knows what that does? Didn't look it up yet. Um, this guy gave me this Creeper, which is actually brand new. It's a, the box is like totally roached. Like it was like stored uh, improper. And a brand new Creeper. It's, I opened it up. It's brand new. It's missing... One little, like, part that I guess you might need. I'm not too sure. You might need it, you might need it. But. Oh, that light went off. And then, this really old mobile. It's kind of cool. And we have... One more, five more. Oh, what's that? Four to nine more boxes of paper to add into the paper lot. We got stuff falling over always. Oh, yeah. Um, and what else? Let me see. 
This is some of the loose figures, which, well, they're all loose, but these are some of the ones that I haven't um, fully built yet. There's some parts and some pieces and stuff, and kind of putting them back together. Uh, so we got five, we got ten right here. Five bucks each, maybe. Uh, and then a case, maybe ten bucks at the flea market for that case. And then I have these ones over here. Alright, then we get these other eight figures. Um, most of these are complete. It's all like their weapons and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's get some shots of it. But yeah, some figures. So I'm thinking 10 bucks each on these, just from their completeness. Um, not bad on the turtles, did pretty good on those. Uh, there's a couple Betty Boop items in there. A couple dolls, uh, Funko Pop. Um, some linens. And some other toys. Decent little cars that do okay at the flea market. There's a little transformer here. Might be like four or five bucks. Some Tootsies. Some other old wheeled vehicles. Some soap or clay, some clay or soap vehicles. Some little truck. Broken tin pot vehicle. Some random little stuff that grinds out. Um, some other stuff that's in there, I believe. But that's all just like random littles. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so that's all we got. Russ is just walking around in circles around the stuff. <laughs> trying to show you some stuff. So, yeah. Grind, grind, grind. List, list, list. Um, do some of that. But, you know, I get the flea market coming. I've been still making piles. Separating, making piles. And, uh, just stock keeping. It's, that's all I've been doing. I haven't listed in two weeks. So, uh, Sales are down a little, and uh, those are the funds for the kitchen, so kitchen funds are a little down, but they're still there, and when there's more projects to be needed, we fire off more stuff needed, you know, so yeah, I still will be listing many more things, it's just uh, um, working on the kitchen right now is um, more or less top priority, and uh, well, I'll bring you up real quick, sneak peek, 30 seconds. Um, silence of 30 seconds in the kitchen. Here we go. Peace. Thanks for stopping by. Um, come by again and uh, keep picking. <laughs>